Welcome to level 1 training of the F2100 NeoRip software. The NeoRip software will be labeled Print Pro once you have installed the program. Remove unwanted tool panels as shown. Go to the Home tab and click Cost Settings. Here you will input the sizes of the ink cartridges that you're using and the cost for the cartridges so that the software can give you an exact cost of each print. Once complete, select OK. In the same tab, go to Print Ports. Double click File, then click Add. Click the icon with three dots and select the location to save your PRN files. Under default extension, type in PRN, and then click OK. Then in the same tab, go to printer name mapping. Click the add button as shown, and then select the correct physical print port. Select Epson F2100 for the printer model, and then name your printer. Once complete, click OK. Now pull out a template. Left click on the page layout, click New, and in the drop down menu you'll see different environments. For this we will go into production, and then click Black Media Production since we will be printing on a black shirt. This will bring up the palette, and the current size selected is 14 by 16. You can always change your palette size by going here and changing the size based on the size of the platen you will be using. Now I will import an image by clicking this button to open the file. Browse through your computer and select the image you want to import. Do not close the previous window that has a palette. Once you have selected an image from your files, it will open a separate window showing the image separately. This is when you can make changes to the settings of the image and how it will print. But for this tutorial, we will leave these settings as is. Next, you will click on the page layout window behind the image. Make sure not to close the window that contains your image. Now you'll see your image in the sidebar. Double click your image which will bring the image onto the palette. Fit to page button will stretch the image to fit the maximum size of the palette. Issue with this method is that it will stretch the image abnormally. What you should do is click the custom button, then check this lock icon to keep the original aspect ratio. In these boxes, you can type in the exact width or height and since you have the lock checked, it will keep its original aspect ratio. Now these boxes under position will allow you to immediately position the image to the location you select. In most cases, you will press the top center button as shown here. Now you can simply press print, select how many copies you'd like to print, and make sure the correct printer is selected. This will automatically trigger the printer and the blue start button will begin to flash. This print has also been placed in the queue manager. Here you can go in and press the expand button here, which will show you the cost of the print. All right, that was your level one training for the F21 NeoRip software. Please proceed to level two.